November 2, 1734, near Reading, Pennsylvania. Daniel Boone has been called the Great Woodman and is truly one of the best known figures in all of American history. So just sit back on your little high school chair and let Mr. Brotherton's 7th grade American history class tell you the true story of the Great Daniel Boone. <laughs> Our story opens today with Daniel Boone's parents working in the fields. Sure is hot today, isn't it, Sugar Lips? I don't know what you're complaining for. You're not the one that's pregnant. Oh, Ma, you know I love you. And besides, that's why I married you. You were and still are the toughest woman on the entire frontier. <laughs> Quit your sweet talk, you big hunk of man. Oh! What is it, Ma? I think it's time. Well, you go do what you gotta do, and then be back here soon, because we got lots of work to do before the sun goes down, sugar. I'll be right back, Dumplin'. What took you so long, Ma? After I had this cute little bear cup, I made some bread and stew for tonight's supper, Pa. Oh. Ain't he cute? What are we gonna call him? Let's just call him Daniel. Daniel Boone. Now let's get a working, Ma. Boone was 19 years old when his family moved to the Yaden River area, which is located now in North Carolina. During Daniel's childhood, he received some schooling, but Daniel loved the outdoors more and became a skillful hunter and trapper.
Daniel Boone grew into a strong man and soon became famous as a war hero. Daniel Boone served with the British General Braddock in 1755 during the French and Indian War. <clears throat> Daniel Boone was a great soldier during the French and Indian War. The scene shifts as our hero is with General Braddock of the British Army. Daniel Boone and General Braddock are completely surrounded by Indians and French soldiers. General Braddock is worried, but Daniel Boone is calm, knowing that it would take a lot, more than just a few, to whip him. Daniel, we should surrender. We're outnumbered. Surrender? The great Daniel Boone will never surrender. You stand aside, General, and let all Daniel Boone take care of these guys. Stand aside, General, let all Daniel Boone take care of these guys. of Daniel Boone, the English were able to defeat the, the French and their Indian allies. Daniel Boone's courage during the war helped to secure America, American Northwest and allowed Americans to feel safe and secure when they would move into the new territory. and Indian War, Daniel Boone was itching for a new adventure. Daniel's most important expedition occurred between 1769 through 1771 when he explored eastern Kentucky, following a trail through the Cumberland Gap with five companions. Daniel, you're lost. Yeah, you take us out here in the wilderness and you get us so lost that even God ain't gonna find us out here. I've made three mistakes in my life. I mean, I've made two mistakes in my life. It means coming out here, moving to the frontier, and the other one is coming out here with you, Dad. Oh, heck, boys, I ain't lost. I got turned around for a month once, but I never got lost. This time, Daniel, you're lost. Yep. There it is. There's the path that will lead us from Cumberland Gap to Boonesboro. Thanks to the effort of Daniel Boone, Boone that was called the Wilderness Road, established a road that Indians called the Wilderness Road, Kentate, meaning Meadowland. This road opened up more land in the west and created a flood of eager pioneers to settle on the further west, on further west into the frontier because of the wilderness road that was curved through the frontier by Daniel Boone. More than 20,000 pioneers moved into the West in five years period from 1175 to 1780. Daniel Boone truly was America's great trailblazer. <laughs> settlement of Kentucky. Like all famous pioneers, Daniel Boone got old. Our last scene today takes place in 1814, the year Daniel Boone died. Daniel is riding his faithful horse somewhere near St. Louis, Missouri, the place where he spent the last days of his life. It sure has been a great life. I guess you could say that I'm famous. 
<laughs> Newspapers call me the great trailblazer, America's first pioneer. <laughs> if I could live my life all over again, I would do it just the same. Old pioneers don't die. They just fall off their horse. Thank you.